So there's this really remarkable passage where Kemp is negotiating with her husband, John, as they are um, in York. And you see really a portrait of the marriage switching here. Um, and so she, as she describes it, as remembered by Marjorie Kemp, and I quote, it happened one Friday on Midsummer's Eve in very hot weather, as this creature, that's Marjorie Kemp, was coming from York, carrying a bottle of beer in her hand and her husband a cake inside his shirt, that her husband asked his wife this question. Marjorie, if a man came with a sword and wanted to chop off my head, unless I had sexual intercourse with you as I used to before, tell me the truth from your conscience, as you say you won't lie, whether you'd allow my head to be chopped off or else allow me to have sex with you as I previously did. Alas, sir, she said, why are you raising this matter? Haven't we been chased for eight weeks? Because I want to know your heart's truth. And then she said with great sorrow, truthfully, I'd rather see you slain than that we should return to our uncleanliness. And he said back to her, you're not a good wife. So this is a really fascinating portrait of a um, husband and wife deciding whether to devote their lives to kind of spiritual marriage or earthly marriage. 